Paul Asleer there. Well, for more on this, I'm now joined live from New York by Daniel Wagner, his CEO of Country Risk Solutions. Daniel, how likely is it that Iran could be behind this attack? Well, if we take into consideration that this is the 18th anniversary of the bombing of the Jewish Center in Buenos Aires, the symbolism would possibly indicate that this is the work of Iran. More to the point, the presumptive Israeli involvement in the assassination of Iranian nuclear scientists and the inevitability that the Iranians would want to pay the Israelis back to me, points to uh, the combination of these two points to the likelihood of Iranian involvement. But Iran is facing a lot of pressure at the moment, isn't it, over its alleged nuclear program and, of course, the tensions it has now with so many uh, countries who are accusing it of developing nuclear weapons. So is it the right time for Iran to perhaps be provocative in that way? The Iranians don't seem to care what the rest of the world thinks about them. They're marching forward with their nuclear plan uh, defiantly, even in the face of these very strict economic uh, sanctions by the UN and the West. To me, it makes perfect sense that the Iranians would seek to strike Israeli targets at this time, perhaps as a warning to what may come. But it's also, I think, very important to think of this in the broader term. The broader term is that the Iranians have the ability to strike with impunity at civilian targets almost anywhere they may wish to do so. I mean, the Bulgarian and Israeli intelligence agencies had information that Israeli uh, tourists may be targets specifically in Bulgaria. And even having had that information, if they were indeed responsible for this, they were able to pull it off. That sends the message that they have the ability to strike where and when they want. Well, Benjamin Netanyahu has already promised to react strongly to Iran's terror, as he calls it. What does he mean by that, and what sort of reaction can we expect? Well, it's hard to tell. Uh, it's a very delicate time for Mr. Mr. Netanyahu domestically, politically, because his coalition government, which was touted uh, for having been so large for the first time in a very long time, has, has fallen apart. And that may restrict what he's able to do politically. Uh, from the Israeli public opinion perspective, he certainly has uh, the public on his side in the larger Iranian nuclear question, but also presumably vis-a-vis -vis what to do in response to this. Uh, it, it isn't likely that there's going to be a major military action in response to this. However, I would not be surprised if there were the kind of targeted uh, attacks or assassinations on individuals of political or military significance in Iran, as presumably has been the case with Israel in the past. Daniel Wagner, CEO of Country Risk Solutions, thanks so much for your thoughts there, live in New York.